What's up everyone, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and I wasn't too sure if I was going to do this video but I was too excited. Here is the ZTW Beast Pro 300 amp 6 to 12 S ESC. Now yes, you heard that right, 300 amp 12 S ESC. It is a beast and um, a lot of you guys will be, you know, would know these two here. We have a Max 6, very popular ESC, can go up to 8S, 160 amp, 200 amp, Max 5, can go up to 8S as well. Very popular, proven design, very reliable, a lot of people use them. Hobbywing, they're fantastic, they are programmable, they're probably one of the leaders now in the uh, RC market, not just because they're reliable, but they are fantastic value for money. Then, we're here at uh, NFGRC, saw these guys, and uh, we thought, you know what, we're going to give this a try and see how good they are because they certainly look good on paper and they certainly are massive check out this guy it definitely is a beast <laughs> it's huge isn't it it looks like someone got this max 5 kind of uh got an idea dragged it to scale made it a bit bigger and just added some more amperage but <laughs> check that out now the thing about this guy it has a 300 amp continuous current, uh, burst current of 1800 amps, the back is, um, you can change it from 6 volt to 7.4, it can run um, 6S to 12S LiPo battery, it's 74mm uh, wide, 115mm long, 78mm high, and it weighs 500 grams, so half a kilo, and yes, it is programmable. Now, to put that into perspective, the Max 5 here is a 200 amp continuous current. It has a burst current I think of 1300 amps. This guy here is 160 amp continuous and I think uh, 1050 burst. So these are generally more than you need. More than you need. You know, for the, for the normal same person you probably won't even never need this. But you would have seen on the channel recently we had, well, we have the Kraken which runs the MGM setup which is crazy. Very expensive but probably the best quality you can get. But a lot, of, a lot of people don't need that. You don't need that in a normal RC car. These two are more than enough. All programmable, fully waterproof, reliable, like I mentioned before. I'm using these two. This one here is going to be in a future project, uh, Proline MT, uh, what is it, the four-wheel drive monster truck. I'm going to be putting that in there. That's more than enough. It's a one tenth scale monster truck. Here we're, we're pretty crazy here. But anyway, this is for my X-Max. This guy here, we're not too sure where we're going to run it in. Leave your... Um, comments down below and let us know what you think we should put it in because this will be more information about uh, about this will be in upcoming videos where we buy it from all that kind of good stuff and the price but uh, we want to put it through its paces and make sure that here at uh, you know NFGRC way we want to get its seal of approval and not say something is good without giving it a good thrash a good test and uh, using it more than just once more videos of this will be in the near future. But as we can see, let's have a look, quick look around the uh, ESC. As you can see, it's all metal. No plastic here apart from the fan inside there. Everything else here is metal as well. Now the gauge wire here is 8 gauge for the battery and also 8 gauge for the uh, brushless motor wires here. They're all pre-potted. Pre They're all pre, well, hardwired in there. Not like the Max 5 and the Max 6 where you can plug it in there as you see fit. It's up to you. It could be bad, it could be good, but that's how it is there. There's your fan plug. Massive row of capacitors. You can see them there. There's, well, there's 4812 that you can see just here. I'm not too sure if there's another underneath. But it is truly a beast. It definitely does live up to the Beast Pro 300 amp name, that's for sure. Got a few other wires here. Because it is programmable, it does come, you can get, it comes with a program card as well. Uh, here's your on and off switch. Seems like there's an LED in there. But uh, yeah, it does, yeah, half a kilo. You definitely want to be putting something, you know, in this into something substantial that's going to take that weight. Quickly, here is the programming card as well. It's LCD, LCD display there. LCD program card, so that's what comes with it as well. So we've been putting that through its paces, or not really putting it through its paces, but making sure everything works correctly and now it should and is easy to use. Definitely, definitely excited about this. I wasn't going to do a video for this, but I was too pumped. And, uh, yeah, just wanted to do a quick video to get it out. But what's better than one of these? <laughs> Having two. So, yes, we're crazy here. Got crazy Carbo. You got crazy Lucre as well. So we're going to be putting this into something. 
Leave it, like I mentioned, leave it in the description what you think we should be putting these in, or what is a good idea, because X-Max, yep, Lossy, yeah, could do that as well. Too small for the Kraken, I think. We have the uh, MGM set up for that, but yeah. Let us know what you guys think, because first look at this. Quality-wise, you know, looks great. Workmanship looks good. Just looks so familiar to this. It's, you know, that's probably where they got the idea from, but, you know, if it works, it works. It's a proven design, the Hobby Wing stuff, so, yeah, I can't really wait. Well, I can't wait to get it and put it through its paces, because it just looks awesome. Really nice stuff. I'm not too sure if that looks plastic, but everything else, apart from the fan blades in this, everything else is uh, metal, aluminium, whatever you want to call it, aluminium in the States. But yeah. Alright guys, I think I've, uh, I think that's enough out of me. I was just super pumped. I just wanted to show you guys this beast of an ESC. And uh, let me know what you guys think, please. Really means a lot. I'd like to hear your um, comments. But uh, yeah. Lost the words. Massive. I thought a lot. I did like the MGM, and that was ridiculous. But that's come at a ridiculous price point as well. So there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your comments down there. Let us know what you guys think. If you haven't, please subscribe. Hit that little notification bell as well, so you get notified of all the latest content. And if you like the video, give it a good old uh, thumbs up. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.